Sometimes the next step is to go backwards. So what are we doing? Something with a cannon? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will be ranking our picks for the top 10 video game prequels. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested. For this list, we're taking a look at games where the story occurs before the main events of the first game in the series. Some of these games are technically numbered sequels, but story-wise, they're still considered prequels in their own official timelines. You just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Number 10, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Training's over. Why? Here is a series that's always leaving fans begging for more lore. In Crisis Core, players control Zack Fair, a soldier in the private army of Shinra. Zack. Hmm? Embrace your dreams. The game covers the events leading up to Final Fantasy VII, and is well known for showing how Cloud receives his trademark buster sword, and showcasing Sephiroth's descent into madness. I am the chosen one. I have been chosen to rule this planet. With a creative, fast-paced turn system that feels like real-time combat, this is a must-own title for PSP owners and fans of the series alike. You will pay. Number 9, Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> Giving the franchise mainstays a break, in Zero, players control both Rebecca Chambers, a new star's recruit, and Billy Cohen, a death row convict, who now must form an unlikely partnership during a zombie apocalypse. Listen, we gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Taking place just before the events of Resident Evil, we tag along with Chambers and Cohen as they look for the star's Bravo team and discover more about the outbreak along the way. The Umbrella Research Center? The unique zapping mechanic allows players to swap control between either character on the fly, something that wouldn't see a return to the series until Revelations 2. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. Number 8, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Blood is thicker than water as Trevor Belmont, an ancestor of the original Simon Belmont, takes up the whip and goes to work. Castlevania 3 starts centuries prior to the first game, as Trevor is summoned by the church to stop Dracula from terrorizing Europe. Though on the surface the game takes most of its style from the original Castlevania, there are several branching paths that the player can take throughout the game, giving it a non-linear progression. On top of this, there are multiple characters you can choose to play as along the way, making this a surprisingly deep experience for a game of its time. Number 7. God of War, Chains of Olympus Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. Everyone knows that Kratos eventually kills pretty much all of the gods, but there was a time when he used to work for them, and that's what you're doing in Chains of Olympus. You will earn your freedom in time. But for now, Olympus needs your unquestioning obedience. While the equally good Ghost of Sparta was noteworthy, Chains of Olympus just barely beats it out. Please, spare my life, and I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. A prequel to the original God of War, here Kratos must help Athena restore the sun itself and prevent Morpheus and Persephone from destroying the Pillar of the World. The fire steeds have driven the sunshine into the earth. And without Helios, there is no one to keep Morpheus from seizing permanent power. Bringing the larger-than-life God of War gameplay into a handheld format without losing any of the epic scale was impressive enough. So, the fleshed-out backstory was all just gravy. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. Number 6. Halo Reach How could you have a Halo game without Master Chief? The answer is more Spartans. Clear? Got it, sir. Set on the doomed planet of Reach, players take control of Noble Six, another Spartan super soldier much like the Chief himself. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make me proud. With no flood and the return of elites in place of the brutes, Reach offered a darker and more somber experience than some of the previous entries in the series. Bitch, I can't watch this. Fox Actual, should we send search and rescue birds? Negative dispatch.
you might know how it ends. But the journey is well worth your time nonetheless. He gave his life thinking he'd just save the planet. We should all be so lucky. Number 5. Bioshock Infinite. Burial at Sea Parts 1 and 2. But I don't, I don't remember this place. You've never been here. While Bioshock Infinite's story is tough enough to follow as is, trying to find its links to the original Bioshock are enough to make your head spin. Is that right? Thankfully, things are cleared up a tad in this two-part DLC, giving you the chance to revisit Rapture in the new, updated engine. One of the lads will show you how to get inside. <coughs> but nostalgia is not the only reason to revisit. Because by the time the credits roll, the whole Bioshock timeline, both for Rapture and Columbia, makes a bit more sense. I imagine the more I learned, the more exception I would find. Number four, Deus Ex Human Revolution. After the disastrous sequel that was Invisible War, players were skeptical that anything credible could be done in the Deus Ex universe. I'm glad you understand. Good night. Idiot. Set 25 years before the original, players control Adam Jensen, a security manager who is attacked and left for dead by terrorists. Lucky for him, the company he works for specializes in bio-augmentation, and he awakens a twisted hybrid of man and machine. Tackling themes like the human reliance on technology and unchecked corporate power, Eidos Montreal was praised for their ability to recapture many of the key aspects from the legendary original, both in terms of story and in gameplay. And now you want to find out more. Number 3. Devil May Cry 3 – Dante's Awakening This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Demon Hunter Dante's background is one for the history books, and this is where we learn about it. No doubt you've got some fun planned for me, right Virgil? Serving as a prequel to the first two games in the series, this iteration primarily focuses on the relationship between Dante and his brother Virgil. How about a kiss from your little brother? Or better yet, how about a kiss from this? Although a later version with toned down difficulty was released sometime later, gluttons for punishment and fans of the genre we're fully content with this rude awakening. You got that right. Number two, Metroid Prime. It was about time for Samus to enter the new millennium, the first in the Metroid Prime series, which fills in the events between Metroid 1 and 2. This was also the first three-dimensional game for the franchise. Even though the perspective jumped into the first person, the overall feel and spirit of the beloved franchise was maintained throughout. Praised for its reliance on exploration over combat, Prime is still considered one of the best games ever made. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Metal Gear Solid 3 – Snake Eater A prequel that gets its own sequels is a definite success. Serving as a prequel to the entire series, Snake Eater follows Naked Snake, or whatever he wants to be called, as he chokes out goons, uncovers conspiracy, and deals with the wildlife deep in the jungles of the Soviet Union. I hate to disappoint the Cobras, but you're mine now. Focusing on stealth and infiltration much like its predecessors, Snake Eater had just enough changes to make it fresh. Let's get started. Memorable boss fights, addictive gameplay, and a jaw-dropping story, Snake Eater is widely accepted as the highest point in a peerless series. The boss would be proud of you. Do you agree with our list? It's incredible! What's your favorite video game prequel? For more succinct top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.
Don't bet on it.